He cares for you. He cares for you. He ever loves and cares for you. He'll do what no one else can do. For Jesus cares for you. He pleads for you. He pleads for you. At God's right hand, He pleads for you. He'll do what no one else can do for Jesus pleads for you for Jesus pleads for you he cares for you I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar. This is from The Shepherd to the Sheep. And today this is my take on a song written by Dr. Frank Garlock. He is the father-in-law to Ron Hamilton, whom we know as Patch the Pirate. Both Dr. Garlock and his wife are great musicians, and they have given us songs that now appear in our hymnal. This is one of them. It has five verses. He cares for you. He died for you. He lives for you, he pleads for you, and he'll come for you. All of these are true, and uh, these are simple enough that a child, children's group, children's choir could sing it, and uh, we can sing it, and it is, it is catchy, it's repetitive. But today I've just sung the first and the fourth verses. He cares for you, and he pleads for you. My scripture is taken from a familiar passage. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 25. Wherefore, he, Jesus Christ, is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Jesus Christ has a current ministry. And that ministry in glory is to intercede for us. We know that he is our advocate and he stands up for us. And because we've been saved, God sees us through the righteousness of Christ. So he's our defense lawyer when we are accused by the old accuser, the devil himself. But also, someone has pointed out that this intercession also takes on uh, another role, and that is uh, a role of prevention. He is right now desiring that we would be strengthened in our spirit and that we would be able to uh, stand against all of the temptation that would come our way from the world, the flesh, and the devil. Think about that. This is his lock, his guarantee that we are his child. He's investing all of this in the hope that we will be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and won't su succumb to temptation. Think about that. I'm saved and I know it for sure, and Jesus Christ is interceding for me. How about you? Do you know for sure that heaven is your home? If you're not sure right now, won't you pray and ask Jesus Christ into your heart? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time in the Word. Thank you for the present ministry of Jesus Christ, that he is ever uh, busily interceding for us, not only as our defense lawyer, our advocate, but also in a, me in a uh, method of helping us to stand against the wiles of the devil. And I pray, Lord, that you'll bless us today. For those that are not saved, would you call on Jesus right now? Pray something like this. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me. And right now I receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. Did you pray that prayer? Did you mean it? Won't you let us know that we might help you in your Christian growth? We'd like to be a help and a blessing to you as well. And 
Christians keep on winning souls, keep on trusting the Lord. He is making intercession for us right now. Praise the Lord. Lord, we want to thank you for that intercession in our behalf. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. He pleads for you. He pleads for you. At God's right hand, He pleads for you. He'll do what no one else can do. For Jesus pleads for you, for Jesus pleads for you. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.